People have all been convicted in a murder for hire plot. Prosecutors say a key part of the plot was a cell phone that was smuggled into prison. This makes a mockery of our of our criminal justice system that we we catch you, we incarcerate you, yet still you offend from inside a prison. Prisoners with cell phones. This is an issue that Channel 9 has investigated for years. Officials say current laws limit what they can do about this. Our South Carolina reporter Tina Terry is live now in Fort Mill to walk us through this case. Tina. Uh, yeah, Erica, this cell phone issue nearly cost a local mother her life. Fort Mill police say that a hitman forced his way inside of her house and tried to kill her. Now we are told by investigators that this was all orchestrated by a state prisoner who used a cell phone to set up the hit. That woman and her baby were inside their home at this Fort Mill apartment complex in 2021. Investigators say this man, Jerry Kennard, tricked her into opening the door. He had managed to steal some mail from her mailbox, came over in the, in the guise of saying that, you know, I have, I received your mail, um, you know, and it's not mine, I, it has your address, I want to get this mail back to you. And at the time that that occurred, then she opened the door and he made his way in. Prosecutors say Kennard was a hitman hired indirectly by this woman, Amaya Givens. They say Givens was jealous of the victim and used her contacts to get to this man, Preston Hicks, a South Carolina prisoner. And they say Hicks used an illegal cell phone from behind bars to put out the hit. She was a strong, uh, strong woman and she maintained her presence of mind throughout that incident, she didn't panic. Solicitor of Fort York County, um, Kevin Brackett says Kennard assaulted the victim, but that she managed to get out of the apartment with her baby. A couple of things went on in here. And it... Robert Munn lived nearby when it happened. He says it's a shame someone could arrange this from prison. They don't need to be talking on no cell phones, making it easy on them. Brackett says the problem could be solved by jamming cell phone signals, but a federal law prevents government from interfering with radio signals. It's very serious and, and, and it's very easily solved. Um, the, the law that prevents prisons from jamming cell phone signals dates back to 1934. There were no cell phones back in 1934. And today a state senator told me that House Bill 4002 has passed both chambers and could be ratified this week. It would up the penalties for prisoners who use cell phones and those who smuggle them in. It would also allow new technology to try to stop those calls. Now, Solicitor Brackett says that the best solution is jamming those cell phone signals, but he says that would take a literal act of Congress. Now, all of the suspects charged in that crime we told you about have been convicted and they are now in prison themselves. Reporting live in Fort Mill, Tina Terry, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Tina, thank you.